to Alabastard. This looks the, like the same fucking building as the other. Hmm? Oh, Jesus Christ! What do you think you're doing to my subordinate? No, no, Francisca, it's okay. It's okay. It's the Steel Samurai. It's okay. Your no! 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 It's no. you! You fucking bastard! Oh! Thank the heavens you're here, dude! I'm gonna really, really pickle your lordship! The raven, it appeared! Poof! And then disappeared! Swoosh! And though I am the steel samurai, my sword it! Oh! I'm so confused that I don't want anything mage anymore! Who is this fruitcake? I'm Larry the House of Butts, married man of Nero Tokyo, m'lady! Oh god, now I remember. This person is one of your friends, isn't he, Biles? <sighs> yes, frighteningly near enough. He is. Larry? Why is he your friend? What? Are you fucking doing here? Hey, what's up with that actor? Your best bond is in a bond, you act like it's no big deal. What, what, what's what sort of bond, bond are we talking about here? The suspect kind. I accidentally became a suspect in a murder. What the fuck did you do to this? No. This, I thought today was going to be a good day. I thought today was going to be a great day. Even I, I was happy. I met the Steel Samurai. I had some good tea this morning. I, Larry? Fuck you. That's all I have to say. I'm not even going to give you the, the, the energy for the anger. We've been through all of that back in Trials and Tribulations. Just fuck you. Fuck you, Larry! I see. That is quite, quite the bind. No, this one's the least bit surprised, because, I mean, fucking, you know, it's fucking Larry. As I pretty much expected this news. From the instant I saw this unlucky face. His name is Larry Butts. I've known him since grade school, and for as long as I've known him, he has been the world's largest source of trouble with a capital Fucking tea! Hey, what kind of introduction is that, dude? You're so mean, Edgy! If you're not careful, you might find your tight number of friends go down by one! I'm gonna fucking kill you! That was a convo. Wait. 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 Hold on. Larry! It was you! You're the one who wrote my Steel Samurai autograph! What? Huh? I didn't notice earlier? I have a weight to you through my headpiece! No, 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 this, no, no, this, this is impossible, no! What's going on, and why are you beat red? No, no, I'm, I'm not thinking I'm having a fucking panic attack, I'm... The, you, you are the fucking still Sam! No, give me a minute, I need to fucking be, I need to fucking be, no, 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 Larry Butts is not the Steel Samurai, he's, no, no, -uh. no, this is not, no, I refuse to, I refuse, Use to accept this reality. Sorry, but could you, could, you, could you not speak to me right now? I just think I fucking need a minute. I'm just gonna. I, just, I don't know. I think I need a minute. I just fucking need a minute, real quick. I just need, just need to take my down and just fucking cry down, crawl the ball, and kind of just cry my life away. Just, just, <laughs> just, just give me a minute. Hold it! I'm sorry, am I interrupting your comical yet melodramatic play? You've no fu- Shut up, Lang. You've no fucking idea who this person is. Aha! So, this is the incident you mentioned earlier. Mr. Prosecutor, this- this man, this... childhood friend of yours, is our prime suspect. Of what, you ask? It's fucking murder. Of the murder of a man who had snuck into this embassy! 
What? Mask to Mask 2! You gotta be fucking killing You're me lying. right now. Mask to Mask is back? Is Ro wait, is actually Ronnie gonna come back? Actually Mask to Mask 2? There's a s Oh my Wait, god. Ronnie? Ron Delight's fucking dead. Holy shit. Ronnie? What a shame. Wait, is, actually, is that Ronnie? Because he's saying two. That's the second is that one. Ronnie? Uh, no, that can't be Ronnie. I doubt they would kill Ron Delight off in like a separate game, but it'd be really funny if it was. I would be so heartbroken. I loved Ron. Only Larry could get himself in yet another mess as fine as this. No matter what the facts seem to say, Larry is not the type to commit. Believe me, we've been through this routine before. Several. fucking. times. Still, it's a rather daunting stroke of misfortune I've struck. I have to pr <laughs> I have to prove Larry Potts is a innocent <laughs> <laughs> Shifu, we identified the victim. Good work. I'll take that report now. Agent Lang, would you mind if I took a peek at it as well? What I tell you earlier, Mr. Prosecutor, don't get in my way. There's only enough flesh here for, to feed one wolf, and that's one is me. So no, you may not take a peek. But Agent Lang! Oh fuck, Detective Bat's here! Hold it. Fucking hell, there's a lot of fucking characters here. Jesus. Agent Ling. Can we please find out who this man is so we can find out if Ron is dead or not? Because I really would like to know. Yeah, I would like to know as well. Will you allow an investigator such as myself to take a look? Ah, uh, yes, of course. You, let Detective see the file. Yo! Detective Bad! You're the prosecutor, Mr. Edgeworth, right? Fancy meeting you here, Detective. You weren't expecting me? Ever since that day seven years ago, I've t chased after the Yadagarasu non-stop. I've been pressured Interpol into keeping me in the loop in case a card was ever found. What an incredible dedication to the case. Detective Bad knows the Yadagarasu's M.O. very well. And his passion for the chase hasn't died down in these seven long years. It's something I can respect. You're pretty cool, dude. But, Detective Bad, I must ask. Are you going to make an ally out of this prosecutor? My only goal is to arrest the Yadagarasu. If he can get to the bottom of this case, then I'm willing to share info with him. I am in your debt, Detective Bad. How's it going, man? How's it going? I'd love to talk to someone who isn't fucking Larry Butts. About the murder of... Damask 2, Electric Boogaloo, would you be willing to fill me in on a few of the details? When the Artagorasu showed up, Agent Ling and I took ourselves off guard duty and put ourselves in charge of directing things at this crime scene. Taking advantage of the chaos, Damask 2, he broke into this embassy. Probably to steal some treasure or another. And I suppose he lost his life when he was forced to fight someone else in this room. Why exactly was that... man placed under arrest, detective? That... samurai? He was born looking suspicious, but not for the reasons you suspect. I... I assure you. As you can plainly see, he is completely harmless. Stupid, an idiot, an imbecile, every word you could possibly think of, but he is not, in fact, a murderer. Well, it was just a random guess. It's not like he's actually under arrest. Tonight, here at the Alabastian Embassy, Ambassador Alba was to give a commemorative speech. And that's when the Yadagarasu showed. Keep in mind, the Autogarasu is who I'm talking about right now. Those seats for the guests who've been called to sit in them were empty. A new show? Who was it that failed to take their seat? Steel Samurai. 
Until the speech was to begin, each member of the entire Steel Samurai family was to wait in a separate room. However, for some weird reason, that man was spotted in a different location than his assigned room at that time. And where was he? He was on the roof with one of his legs down a chimney. And that chimney leads directly into this room. You've got to be fucking joking. Larry what? Butts? You've really outdone yourself this time! What were you thinking? God damn it, Larry! Why? Why do you do this to me, Larry? Why do you raise my blood pressure so distinctly? Are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to make me die of high cholesterol by the age of 40? In any case, I believe it's high time for me to stop my investigation. I was happy to do this for Kay, but I'm not going to do this for you, Larry, because I fucking hate you. And now Francisca is following me around as my Maya. This is perfect. All right. So, this is the victim. Demask to dead man's chest. What is with his gaudy outfit? And why does his brooch have a bunch of hickeys on it? You don't know about mask to mask. Haven't you seen the second case of Trials and Tribulations? A few months ago, this thief caused a lot of havoc on the populace. So this thief is separate from the Atagarasu. I thought they were for a while, because their MO and targets were different. Damask likes high-valued trinkets and jewels, and being gaudy is his signature. Gumshoe was in charge of that investigation, so he'd know more about Damask. That's all right. I'll probably hear about tales of his failure anyway. Huh. You haven't changed a bit, I see. In any case, let's get started here, shall we? I will rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and hopefully not Ron. Let's see here. Yeah. I thought that Damask had Is quite... it Ron? I don't... I thought that Damask had quit the business. He looks a bit too tubby to be Ron, if I'm being honest. This guy... He's just copy. He's just a copycat using the name, the phony okay. success. Okay, so he's not Ron. He's I not. was so worried. He's just a copycat using the name, a phony successor. He's just another petty thief. His real identity is an out-of-work guy by the name of Kashino. 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 Is her? Is is the, is the pun name Casino? Is it, is it casino? He's 29 and wanted on larceny charges. From his clothes and what he was carrying, we determined that this guy is the real Damask II. The cause of death appears to be the loss of blood from the back of his head. Seems that he was struck with something very hard. In other words, he was bludgeoned to death. I wonder what could have possibly... At least it's not At least it's not Ronnie. So, this is the murder weapon in this case. There's blood on the blade. It's a valid sweeping sword, isn't it? What do you expect? It's Steel Samurai Daddy's secondary weapon. His wife would be very... I only call it his secondary because although he uses his sword in most of his battles, it's his trusty samurai spear that he turns into a real fight. And he uses many... The samurai slash is usually his, um... His go-to, but usually if you got the samurai suit. You sure know quite a bit about the steel samurai, fucking nerd. That's only because I saw the stage show earlier, and also because I have all the steel samurai DVDs, and the Blu-rays, and all the merchandise, and the memorabilia, and I know about all the lore about how the steel samurai uh, uh, prosecuted the evil magistrate for the kidnapping of his wife, uh, and hopefully the iron infant wouldn't turn into a regular demon to, uh, you know, harass the populace. But there is, uh, there is a girl by the name of the Metal Maiden who has the ability to talk to ghosts, who's going to be very important later in the story. I'll have to write this down. The owner of this sword is the Steel Samurai. Oh. In other words, Larry. I should probably ask him about it. As, as detrimental as it is to prove him innocent. <laughs> What's he holding? Looks like a piece of paper from a notepad. The 
appeared at directions on how to reach this room were written by hand. There's something written on the back as well. I'd like you to steal the Primaduck statue in this room. What is that supposed to mean? Who writes a note to themselves like that? If I had to guess from the text, I would say this is actually a request from someone about what to steal. Oh, so Master Mass is taking commissions now, huh? Just who is Again. this? Again! Who is this person? Yeah, I mean, well, last time it was not really more commissions, more so blackmail, but. Just who is the person that requested the theft of the Primaduck statue? Well. Larry, there are a few things I need to ask you about. Hey, how about that? I got a few things I gotta ask you too, dude! What? It's like, both you and him. How is it that the two of you always manage to have some cuter hot girl by your side? And Francie, what about that promise you made me? Larry, you do fucking realize that F Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth are gay, right? You know that, right? They're gay. They're gay for each other. They're married. Now, they've been married for a long time. How do you not know this? Also, what promise? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't worry, said you'd make model for me for my next book, Francis Whippity Whip Trip! <laughs> I made no such promise! Alright. Yeah, forgot about that. A little plot point. Ever since grade school, we've had a certain saying about Larry. Say it with me, everybody. We know it well and good by now. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every time. We can't. We cannot escape him. One needs to look no further than this man to find the king of troublemakers. I don't even know where to fucking start with you. I don't know where to start with you. As I recall, aren't you calling- Yeah, aren't you calling yourself Loris Donim now? That's Donim! Loris Donim! Get that straight in your head, Edgy! <laughs> oh, yeah, now I remember. You're that rude, pale imitation of a real artist who drew that one, like, drawing of a lady fucking flying. Yeah, I remember how much fucking headaches you caused us! No, no, no! No, no, you're getting it all wrong! I gave up on that whole Lorise business! Besides, when Bangelina left me my heart in pieces, that's when Mindy walked into my life. She's been so good to me that I wanted to help her in some way! And I figured I could throw this steel samurai outfit! Your name blathering makes less and less sense each time we meet. Is this what the migraine feels like? Yes. Yes, it does, Francisca. This man is a walking migraine. I believe he's saying that he picked up this part-time job as the Steel Samurai so that he may attempt to capture the heart of the actress who plays the Pink Princess. God damn it, Larry. God fucking damn it. You got it! I knew you know what I meant, Edgy! I just, I just know you too well by now. I can't fucking help it. It's not so much as I understood, but a simple deduction based on your usual modus operandi, Larry. All right, Larry, I'd like you to confess right now to everything you did tonight. And if I see one goddamn psycho lock, I'm gonna throw myself out the fucking window. You understand? Don't give us some roundabout bullshit. She flew across the embassy over a burning bridge. I don't want that shit again, Larry. You're gonna tell me the truth, and you're going to do it. Right. Now! C confess I don't suspect you tell you suspect me too! Nonsense. I don't believe you have the mental acuity needed to plan and execute a murder. You're too stupid, Larry. However, we are talking about you here, so I find it hard to believe that nothing happened. The past experience has taught me that you are always at the center of some insane event. Every. Time. Uh, uh, Edgy! How can you be so mean selling me with your words like that? Unfortunately, I don't have the time to search out a key to unlock your heart this time. 
No, no magical voodoo with the psycho locks or spirit channeling. I'm doing this analog style, bitch. So I suggest you cooperate and tell me what you know. Okay, okay, I get it. Just stop Freddy from whipping me from behind. No. In fact, every time you say something stupid, I'm going to ask her to whip you. And I'm going to enjoy it. So? You know what I did, right, Edgy? I can't even begin to imagine. However, I imagine that whatever you are up to was probably beyond my imagination. So you will tell me exactly what you did, Larry. Nope, not yet, Edgy. I'll take more of that to loosen my lips. Four more! Confess! Now! <laughs> okay, well, I'm on the roof. And why exactly were you up on the roof, Larry? Oh, you know that wintry costume in the legendary hero? What? 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 Santa Claus! What is Larry. happening? Larry, you're making no fucking sense right now, dude. You're making no fucking sense, dude. Uh, what? Why? Why, Larry? Why? God damn it, my fucking controller fell down. You Look what you've done, Larry. Look what you've done to me. S Santa. Claws. I wanted to do that thing he does, so I climbed to one of the chimneys. But when I got there, there was smoke pouring out of the chimney. And? Well, I couldn't go down the chimney with smoke coming up, right? So I gave up. Objection. Larry? You do realize that Santa Claus does not exist, right? Of course I know! I didn't graduate from junior high, you know! You should also understand this. If Santa was real, he would be the biggest unlawful trespasser in history. Oh, crud! It is... It is your attempt to imitate Santa that has landed you as prime source. Why do you want to do that? What possessed you to want to do that? It's not even fucking Christmas, Larry! It's February! Come on, man, what's so wrong with pretending to be Santa? Objection! 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 Oh wait, never mind, it's March, sorry. Let's start with the fact it will be the Ides of March in a matter of hours. It is March, Larry! We are so fucking far from Christmas, Larry. So far, we are so far from DL6 anniversary, Larry. Santa only visits homes on almost Christmas. That's in December, you nitwit! No! Hey, wait a second, we're not in court! Getting out of character for a second, I feel like this is probably the most fucking ridiculous ass Larry portrayal that's probably happened in, like, the entire series so far. This man, this man is in a, a, a foreign embassy, dressed up as the Steel Samurai, breaking into chimneys to try and imitate Santa Claus, and now he's in the middle of a murder. How is, this is the Steel Samurai also an ambassador for this country? How is... This case makes no fucking sense right now. <laughs> Larry. Him being an ambassador. Larry, about the steel samurai sword that was used as the murder weapon. Oh, that! Well, I shook hands with the ambassador in this room, you know. Yes, apparently you did. Well, I totally forgot about it and left it behind when I left afterwards. You wanna talk about shock? I was the most shocked of all when I heard it killed someone! SHOCKED! Foolish fool looking especially foolish for foolishly stealing such a foolish excuse! You forgot to take something that big with you! Who would believe such a tale? Hold it! Sorry, Miss Von Karma, but... It's very believable. It's very believable. If anyone could forget something like that, it'll be Larry. Edgy! 
You believe me? No, shut up. I'm not your friend right now. I just know that our friendship is something special. It's nothing. You're nothing to me, Larry. You are dirt beneath my foot. Uh, every time I walk on the street and I see a wad of gum and it gets stuck on my shoe, you know what I think of? I think of you, Larry. You are that insipid wad of gum that will never get off, no matter if I scrape it, no matter if I put my shoes in the wash, no matter if I get a specialist. I, I can't do it, Larry. You're always there. You're always sticking to my goddamn shoe, no matter what I do! Anyway... Even if Larry had simply forgotten the soul and left it behind, that in no way clears his name. Which means that I will have to prove his innocence from a different angle. By not fucking talking to him anymore. Jesus merciful Christ. Okay, let's, let's do some investigating, shall we? What are these? Mm. Two gorgeous flowers on full bloom here. I'm sure flowers as lovely as these must have an equally as lovely name. How's it worse? Are you done staring? I surely think passion flowers are all that's there. Passion flowers? That's a rather unusual name. It was named by priests in the 15th century for the Passion of Christ. Wow, seriously? Uh, Alright, I guess Alabaster's is very Catholic. Alright, that's okay, cool. As they say, you learn something new every day. It's the Jesus flower, Francisca. Thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this day. No, don't thank him. This was probably this day was probably incited by fucking Satan because Larry is here. All right, what else do I have to do? Oi, Gavolt! Oi, Gavolt! Oi, Gavolt in heaven! Oh, I'm I'm having an aneurysm. Oh God! How Jesus! There are some weapons on display on this wall: a crossbow, and under that set of knives bearing a flower motif. They must be the counterparts to the Babylese knives. Which means the blades inside the scabbards should match the blade that was used to kill Mr. Cochin. That would be the time inspected every suspicious looking nook and Larry. Uh. Well, let's, uh. Kind of three knives, I guess. Knives adorned with flowers are on display here. I suspect that these are the counterparts to the Babylese knives. The blades of these knives should match the blade of the knife that killed Mr. Cochin. Wh One of the knives is missing. It's blade. Let's see if the two pieces of the blade and the handle fit each other. Well, well, well! It appears they fit together quite well, almost seamlessly. And this means that an Alabastian knife did find its way into battle. But how? Wait a damn minute, why is the spear all bendy? It's the Steel Samurai's primary weapon, the Samurai Spear. Isn't it awesome? I totally fell for this thing! It's sleek and shiny just like my heart! It comes at you like whoosh! When you hold it, you just want to live life like BAM! You do well to watch what you say, Larry. The last person I need talking about the Steel Samurai, my lord and savior, is you. Do you understand? S the Steel Samurai is fucking sacred, and I will not have you ruining it for me, Larry. I will not. I'd rather have all my daughters be Gem and Ninja fans than let you do that for me, Larry. Though it is just as Larry says, the spear is quite this symbol of valor. However, speaking of spears, aren't you supposed to use them by thrusting the point straight into your opponent? I'm entirely convinced the spear is up to the task. What's wrong, Edgy? Just stare off into the distance. Oh, I get it! Tell you what, I'll tell Sudi to make you one, okay? But this one's mine! D did I say anything about wanting one? Then shut him up if I show a piece of evidence. I will point something out about the spear. Oh, I guess I have to have a Eureka moment, don't I? 
This spot's not connected to the Indian Ventai Hold. Oh, yes, it is. The Samurai Sword? Tiyurika! The condition is here is related to this piece of it. I don't see how it's related in any way. Never mind. Shit. Okay. This is not like you at all. Don't tell me that you did notice the meaning behind this piece of evidence. Oh! But, but I thought. Suppose I have no choice then. I'll just have to explain to you from the beginning. Okay. But what you should be doing from the very beginning is admitting your mistake! Okay. She's all right. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Deduce. Skadoosh. Uh. That? Okay, yeah, the fucking spears on the drawing. Eureka! Larry, about this spear. Oh, you feel it? BAM! Shut up. No. I thought there was something strange about this spear. Tell me, Larry, is it just me or is the spear a bit bent? What? No way! It's exactly as it should be, yo! Yo? What are you, fucking Jesse Pinkman? I have here this autograph you wrote for me earlier, yo! Now take a good look at this which you drew with your own hands, yo! My name is Skylar White, yo! You can see that the spear is clearly of a different shape! Oh! What do you have to say to that? I'm sorry! I held the spear in my hands, all of a sudden I feel super... Oh. Shit, never mind. When I hold the spear in my hands, all of a sudden I feel super powerful! And then, during practice, I was spinning around and around, and BAM! It hit the wall! Hold it! You unbelievable! This is an embassy! But I've always been like that ever since I was a kid. One time on an overnight field trip, I bought a fake sword and played with it late that night! I'm just a useless hot-blooded man! Fucking damn it. I need my I need my tum tums. I need my tums. I need my fucking tums. Okay, Larry. Clarify that for me, will you? Okay, so some field trip, but I began to shadow fight with myself. No! Not that! I meant what you said earlier about spinning the spear and hitting the wall. Oh that's so big, it's not like I left the hole or anything. That, that's not why I'm asking, Larry. The samurai spear is made of metal. I somehow doubt that a move as simple as spinning it around would cause it to bend. Man, Edgy, you're so naive! What?! Where did that come from?! Well, I keep calling it the samurai spear. But it's not real. You can't really fight someone with it. Because it's hollow on the inside! You can hit it against practically anything and it would bend! Is that so? Don't tell me you thought it was real! Oh, but don't take it the wrong way. I think that part of your personality is cute. No, you have no fucking right to call me cute, Larry. You don't. Only my husband, Phoenix Wright, who's the most beautiful man in the entire fucking world, has every right to call me his cute little honey bun. Don't you fucking... You keep that C word out of your goddamn mouth, Larry. I am not going to have... I'm not going to have you coming on to me. Oh, I see. Yes, friendship truly is something special, Miles Edgeworth. SHUT UP! It's not friendship, it's utter humiliation! I don't fu I fucking hate both of you. I, y neither of you... NEITHER of you are invited to my daughter's graduation. Neither of you. Neither of you. I'm not talking to any of you ever again. Not Thanksgiving, not Christmas. You're not coming to any gatherings. Any of them. I'm going to invite Gumshoe, I'm going to invite the judge, but I'm not inviting you, and I'm not inviting you. Both of you are my fucking banes. Yeah. Wow, that was a lot of information. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for being quiet, I'm kind of out of it. I mean, we haven't really, not really a lot of characters for you to voice, is there? Uh. No, because the one character I probably could is banned from going in the country. Yeah, that's right. The person shaking hands with the steel samurai in this picture is Ambassador Aoba. It was taken just before the murder. Steel samurai must be very popular, even using the national treasure as backdrop. 
just don't understand what exactly is so great about Top Knot there. Don't. Don't get angry, Edgeworth. Don't get angry, Edgeworth. It's what she wants. It's what she wants. If, she, if you engage, she will she will bite like a piranha. Clearly there's a depth to the show that a young person like you can't fathom. Speaking of young people, aren't young children the target audience of this show of costumed actors? Shut up. You don't understand this is still Samurai like I do. You you don't get the inter intricacies of this of this fine cinematic masterpiece, Francisca. You're stupid! You're stupid! Alright, anyway. Um the statue. There's so much fucking shit to examine. There was the exact same statue sitting in that Babalese office we examined. It's the Primaduck statue. It was the national treasure of the Principality of Kodopia. There's only one of these statues, meaning that one of the two is a replica. But both Alabast and Babur came to let the Zuya sing. That's an incredibly childish fight to have. Fucking Christ almighty. No just not inspecting every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Um... Deduce... Sparse Mountain of the Ravens, I hold... Is there like a spot of difference thing here? That? Eureka! Nope! I am, um... I'm stupid. Ow. That hurt. Shut up, Larry. You're st you're stupid and a whore. Fuck. Okay. Uh. Try that again. There's a statue in this picture. Kind of looks different. A little bit. Eureka! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Look at this photo, and tell me what you find odd about this scene, Miss Swan Karma. Is the apparent joy on the ambassador's face as he shakes that top knot's hand? That's not it! I was trying to point out that the statue in the photo is facing a different way! You're right! This statue is a national treasure. As such, only the ambassador of a secretariat-level person is allowed to handle it. The fact that the statue is facing one way in this photo... And now it's facing a different direction in this preserved crime scene. Is proof that someone touched this statue around the time of the crime. Uh oh. Hmm. I guess this about wraps up my investigation. Finally! Hmm? That's. Oh god damn it. Yo, Pink Princess, how you feel? How you feel? It's still feeling ill? And yet another strange character comes out of the woodwork. And so the pink princess also comes to pay the Albastian embassy a visit. Oh, that's fun. Good. We have more, uh... We finally have a female character for you to voice. Ho hurrah. Woo! I don't Miss... know nothing about her, but woo! Yeah, it's the pink princess. Uh, Miss Pink Princess, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Miss Pink Princess, if you would kindly... No. No. No! <laughs> well... Okay, Siri. Sorry. Fastest way to kill myself. Siri's gonna actually answer that for you. <laughs> call the this must be what they call fate! Why How could this happen two time? days in a row? What, what the? Aren't you missing all the bad? Why? Why are you surprised? Ah, so you're the one they got to play the steel samurai. It's too bad I didn't realize that until now. Your acquaintances with... How, how does this make sense? How does this make sense? Of course your acquaintance is with Larry. Both of you are fucking insufferable. Why, yes. We worked on that same company for a little while, you know. That's why it's okay, my edgy poo. You don't need to be jealous. 
Shut up! I'm gonna fucking kill myself tonight! I'm gonna do it! I was in the next room, you know, trying to get in some beauty sleep. But it was so noisy here that I couldn't fall asleep, so I came over to complain! So imagine my shock when I saw my precious Edgypoo waiting here for me! I mean, who could have imagined that you would ever come to a show like this? I guess I've misjudged you, Edgypoo! You misjudged him? I thought he was trying to avoid me, you know! I WAS TRYING TO AVOID YOU! That was no misjudgment on your part, that's PRECISELY what I was trying to do! Doesn't a goddamn restraining order mean nothing to you? It's the fucking same with the badges. The, the badger case, you showed up then, I tell you to fuck off, you don't, and now here you are. Both you and Larry. I probably need to put both your names on that fucking form. But it looks like the winds have shifted and he's now willing to be chased after! I'm simply overwhelmed! Don't you worry, Eddie Pooh, I'll chase you forever to the ends of the earth! As Ernest Hemingway once said, I wonder how this shotgun tastes. Isn't that just peachy? This is one of those rare times where Francisca and I actually see eye to eye. <laughs> why? Why? Okay, but seriously, why the fuck did they put Larry and fucking Old Bag in the same case? Why? Why did they do to that? Me. They love to fucking torture me, dude! Oh my fucking god. I'm glad I haven't run out of water yet, because I'm gonna probably need it for these two douchebags. <coughs> Now then, let's start with the obvious question, shall we? What the fuck are you doing here? I thought you were working at Gatewaterland, the Pink Badger. What are you talking about? That was ages ago! That was two days ago! Th wait, th that was yesterday! Look, I worked at Global Studios before, a long time ago, right? Well, they called me up this morning, kind of out of the blue, actually. They called you? Apparently, the girl who plays the Pink Princess collapsed from a bad cold. It happened so suddenly, so they called me in to be her last bit of replacement. Do they... Do they not have enough people on staff at that studio? I really couldn't say no, so here I am playing the role of the heroine. So that Mindy girl, I mean. But the poor girl, I feel bad for her. Because they let me stand in for her, she's going to have a terrible time when she returns to me. I'm not exactly ready if this really was placed dead at the very last second. I tripped over the whole world. The rag also had the shuriken, and the onyx was in the mop roll. But by God, I tell you, that brilliant bunch of simpletons. You're a rather lively old lady. Do you see what I mean, Francisca? Do you see what I have to fucking deal with every goddamn day of my life? It's one bad familiar face after another, Francisca. It is my unending torture. One must imagine Edgeworth happy as I roll that goddamn boulder up the hill! <laughs> Fuck! I missed the dialogue. Shit! You got it! If you need to see it, I've got it right here. Look! Here she's telling the truth. I tell you, my fine acting moved the entire audience to tears. Tears of laughter, as I recall. Mm, mm, mm. Well, being famous has its problems too, you know. Here, take a look at this. What? It's a letter from a stalker! Wow. Someone stalking you, old bag. I could not imagine, I could not imagine the what that must feel like. I could not imagine the pain, the, the agony of having someone repeatedly make your private life feel uncomfortable and dangerous. What a travesty, old bag. I was just taking my break when I found this stuck under the door to my room. Honestly, you really have to watch out for these kinds of things. Look what it says! Wendy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight. Your loving knight. Ha! Absolutely revolting! I mean, you'd think he could get my name right. There's no action in my name. Wait. This horrible handwriting. Where have I seen this before? Ah, oh, but now that you're here, Eddie Pooh, I feel 100% safe. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I want to call a priest. 
I want to call a police officer. I want to call every law official that I know to keep me away from you. What do I factor into this? You bust that evil soccer man for my sake, won't you, Eddie Pooh? Well... If you allow me the liberty to handle this in my own way, I'll gladly dispatch a detective to your house later. Oh, come on, Eddie Pooh! Stop being so dismissive and playing hard to get! So I've been thinking, uh, should I use a gun? Um, uh, should I jump off a bridge? I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways to approach the good old, What's the uh, least messiest option? What's the least messiest option? I don't want, I don't want to have right to clean up after my gray matter being on the wall, but, you know, the Ernest Hemingway method, I feel, has a lot of potency to it, if you want to make a statement. But at the same time, you know, bridge, bridge jumping off definitely has a lot of, you know, a lot of gallant display, you know? I definitely need to leave a note to make sure that you two are responsible for it, by the way. I cannot forget to do that. Cannot forget to do that. Wendy Oldbag and Larry Butts are the reason I'm doing this. What were you doing at the time of the crime? What crime? Are you fucking s Turn around! Look behind you! Out of the shower's over, I have nothing but free time on my hands. So I use the fireplace in the room next door to keep my bad hip warm. For the matter, cause it's a room right next to yours! Is that right? Oh, where'd you put? I'm so scared! Hold me! Caress me! Hold it! If you could please not- No! Get off me! Stop touching me! Stop! Stop it! Get off me! In any case, I take it then that you failed to show up at Ambassador Alba's speech. Oh, that! No, I didn't go. I mean, I may have the heart of a young tender maiden, but my body just refuses to cooperate at times. Soon as the show's ended, my hips started acting up and got stiff. I couldn't move at all. Can you provide proof of your condition? Oh, you just go on those doctors in the infirmary. They're the ones who carried me from the theater all the way to this embassy. I never thought of not being able to leave that room was rather pleasant. If only, if only God was so fucking merciful. Oh, what now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Prosecutor about karma, I brought the police dog as you requested, sir. Good work. You may leave now, officer. Oh, it's a doggy. Hello, doggy. At least you can't fucking talk. This dog. I've requested the assistance of a dog in our search for Ziata Garasu. Looks like you guys have some pretty bright dogs in this country, too. Oh, look at the little boy. Look at the little boy. Look at the little boy. Look at the little fella. I have the headcanon that Lang is like very he gets he gets very baby voice when it comes to dogs because of his like wolf persona stuff. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Hey, you're real kitty. Yeah, yeah, that's a good boy. Oh my god! Okay, never mind, it's not headcanon, it's actual canon! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? That's the police dog gums who's been taken care of. I think its name is Missile. What's a fitting name for a police dog that dashes out in front and attacks? The action alone isn't exactly what's going to solve this case for us, you know. Now, Missile, I want you to find some clues. Go! Good dog. You really are quite bright, aren't you? Unlike a certain someone I know. Now, what do we have here? I can also refer to, like, half people in this room, mind you. What is this? It looks like a small hot dog, but... Wait, Francisca, isn't that an official samurai dog? Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! No! Bad missile! Bad! He ate it. Well, it's alright for him to eat that. It's just a meat substance snack featuring the steel samurai. I'm sure he'll be fine. It'll be fine. If we'll barf it up later, I'm gonna make Larry clean it up. That's quite a bit of information you gathered there in a single quick glance. You should really be focusing on why there's a samurai dog there in the first place. Hmm? It looks like that snack wasn't all missile found. Oh, and what do we have here? 
It appears to be... A lady's undershirt. I wonder if Ambassador Alba might have an... Intro... <laughs> what?! I wonder if Ambassador Alba might have an interest in cross-dressing. Francisca, it's 2024. We do not judge about these things, all right? Ambassador Alba can do whatever he pleases. I somehow doubt that. It, it, looks, it doesn't look like the shirt wouldn't even fit him. So my dog in a lady's undershirt. What are these two items doing in a room like this? What is today? What is today? Look how many fucking main characters in this room. We got me, Francisca, Larry, Old Bag, Sh Sh Shilong Lang, and fucking Detective Bad, who hasn't said anything for like the past several minutes. Given the circumstances, the ladies on the shirt can only belong to. Oh no. I suppose I should get this over with and ask the owner of said undershirt about it. Oh no. I do not like where this is going. I don't like where this is going at all. Hey, old bag, would this happen to belong to you? If you could please take a look at this brown colored undershirt. Oh, edgy poo, what is the meaning of this? Don't you dare get the fucking wrong idea, woman. Why'd you steal that thing from my bags? All I had to do was ask. I would have gladly given it to as many as you'd like. No, 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 no. No. Stop. Stop it. Right now. This shirt was found here at this crime scene. What? Come now, why don't you just confess and explain what's doing here? Please tell me you'd be the murderer. If you're the murderer, that would be so fucking funny. I would love to take you in, please. I know nothing! Nothing, I tell you! What? Oh, I admit I used the fireplace to dry that shirt. But I can't really help the fact that I had to, you know! We may be pushing for us to be in a sauna! And on top of that, I get fingered as a suspect! You're too cruel, Eddie Pooh! Are you claiming that you've never once set foot inside this room? Of course I am! If I'd been the one to find the body, think I'd be as calm and relaxed as I am? I tell you, it's always like this, always for a for reason or another. This time, oil balance is missing, the camera's missing, the lawyer's always in the missing. Speaking of the missing, it's out of my husband. I believe he got married, he said, I guess I'm so marrying you. I'm kind of proportionate, it's out. I wish I wasn't deserving, but I can't help it. Will you marry me? I actually met these days. You know, something. If I had a, if I had a superpower, it would be time travel. Time travel. I'd go back in time, and I'd tell Kay to piss off and let me finish my tea. That way I'd never come here, I'd never meet you, I'd never meet Larry, I would not be involved in this goddamn mess. I don't care about the fucking Yadagarasu anymore, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm finished. I am fini. I don't believe she's lying about her actions. So I can safely assume she really was drying a shirt by the fireplace on her break. And somehow the undershirt managed to move from the next room into this one. Christ help us. I assume the samurai dog was also yours. Ah, oh, that brilliant mind of yours! You really can see through everything about me! And so the feeling dread continues. But I suppose I should ask for more details. My voice is getting very tired, holy shit. Samurai dogs. That samurai dog was yours, wasn't it? How? Oh, of course I'm forever yours, my edgy wedgy poo! Hold it! If you could just stick to what I asked you! Edgy, are you? MS Olba- God, fuck, damn it! No! You really don't change, do you? When will you learn how to take a joke? How much longer is this? My whole fucking life is a joke. My whole goddamn life is a joke. The setup was DL6 and the punchline was this goddamn case. Anyway, that samurai dog wasn't mine. Those things are a present from the studio to the embassy. A present? Studio Big Ones basically told us to play delivery boys. We're supposed to hand these dogs off to the embassy people and tell them hi. I had to pile them all into the push cart just to move them all. 
Those pseudo guys should have delivered those things by themselves. Right, Edgy? So, did you deliver the steel samurai dogs to the embassy staff as per your instructions? Hey, Edgy, don't just ignore me and my question! Aren't you gonna stick up for me? I would rather throw myself off Dusky Bridge, honestly. Ah, about that. See, after the show, I went to the rest of the spell in the dressing room. Because of my bad hip, you know? Oh. What was Crow that? responded. Like a while ago. Oh. Uh, just, 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 just tell him enter, just enter, and just, no, no, nothing else. I need, I, I need him to play Francisca, please. I'm getting so fucking tired of doing everybody. How much longer is this? <laughs> I, I don't know, I think there's a few tests. And said enter. I don't think Crow's paying attention anymore. This, this, this case is just a lot. It's just a lot, you know? Alright. How much longer is this part? Yeah. And there they were. Tired. Yeah. And there were. Samurai dogs just sitting on the dressing room floor. Okay. Do they have a few testimonies after this? I'm not sure, though. I suppose you had to make preparations for distributing them after the show. Well, by preparation, you mean sampling them as well. Excuse me? Oh, I tried one and thought they were actually quite good. Sorry, but I just had to find out. I know it was silly of me to think this, but... I figured that since they're for a kid's show, their taste is probably for kids, too. But they were so good that I couldn't stop. Before I went back to my room, I just had to help myself to half a dozen or so boxes. As I sat there by the roaring fire, warming them and eating them, I thought, ah, this is... <sighs> hmm, what is it now? Oh, I know, I bet you want a box too, don't you, my edgy poo? Well, who am I to say no to you? But I'll only give you one. The rest are all for me. Looks like the lesson for today is that when the steel samurai and the pink princess take off their masks, they transform into a pair of annoying troublemakers. We took way too fucking long to get to that lesson. Way too long. Hello, doggy. You're a good doggy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean down. I'm gonna pet you. You're a good God. doggy. You're a good doggy. You're a good doggy. Oh, is it a milky? Missile. 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 I'm yes. tired. You've been much bigger helps than I thought you would be. Yes. However, there are a few aspects I don't understand about what he found. In that case, you should keep on investigating until you do understand. Now my subordinate can deal with the investigation! Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I hate everyone right now. I should have fucking stayed in the other embassy. I should have been like, no, I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna stay in the other one. Alright, I'm gonna fucking look up this shit, because I am... I am to be fair, tired. that was the one that was burnt down. So do you really want to hang out in a burned down building? I would rather be in a building that is on fire presently than be in this room right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. The fire will be much better company than any of these people. Mm, it's a fireplace. Yes. And by the looks of it, I don't think it's been used recently. Yes, I can't say that I see anything unusual about it. What? Uh, you told me to examine the fire- What do you have to do what? here? I, you told me to examine the fireplace. It did, I swear to God. Oh. Do I do logic? Why is there a tree coming into the window? That's there, another question. There's, there's a fucking bird nest too. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, well, I feel like at that point, you would go, huh, maybe I should take down this branch. Like, when it first starts entering the window. There you go. Connect the dots and brain blast. I'm sorry, I'm tired. There is no trace of this room's fireplace being used. And your point is? <clears throat> Smoke was supposedly pouring out of the chimney connected to this fireplace. At least according to Larry, this is a contradiction of facts, is it not? Are you sure he wasn't just disoriented or something on that room? There's a testimony from an investigator that puts Larry at this particular chimney. So no, I don't think it was a mistaken impression on Larry's part. On the other hand, the fireplace in the next room was being used at that, at that time. 
Where do you suppose the smoke from that fireplace went? Ah, I see. So what you're proposing is this. The smoke that came out of the chimney was actually from Miss Oldbag's fire. So basically, the fireplaces of neighboring rooms share one chimney. Is that what you are implying? Yes. Yes. Now can we move on? Now can I examine the goddamn fireplace? You know what, about, what if, like, they didn't solve these cases? Where would they be now? Because who would put this much energy? Because there's no way these people in the police force would care this much and put this much time and energy into figuring out this case. <coughs> you know, it was... <coughs> Brain blast! <coughs> <coughs> Fuck, this is exactly why I need more people in these streams. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. The lady's under shit that Missile found. Do you think we're gonna call it why? Team? Why did you Why did you hit me? Why are you getting all excited over holding onto a lady's undergarment? Miles Edgeworth, uh. you uncouth sea slug! Francisco, you're just doing this for shits and giggles now. You know I'm gay at this point. Holding this shirt does nothing to me. Who knows what I've said under shirts and hurry up and return it to her already! You've had it all wrong, this is evidence! The only this piece of evidence was in the room next door. And yet despite that, Missile found it in the fireplace of this room. This lady's undershirt. Are you seriously claiming that it somehow passed through a solid blick vol? Sure. Not quite. Or... Is it like a cool thing where the fireplace can turn? Maybe. The fireplace in this room is connected to a chimney. The other fireplace in this room is also connected to the same chimney. Leading us to the possibility that the two fireplaces are connected to each other. Perhaps a closer look at the back of the fireplace is in order. <gasps> There's an X on the back of wall of the fire. I could have examined this like two logics ago, but sure, whatever, fuck it. I can't get a better look at it. Okay. Oh, wow! Look at that! So crazy. What is that? The wall separating this room's fireplace from the next room's fireplace apparently turns. As, as I suspected, this fireplace does indeed connect to this room to the neighboring room. The neighboring room? There appears to be nothing particular about the next room, but the fact that there is nothing special about the next room isn't what's important. It's the fact that there is a secret passageway through that room's fireplace! Cool, that is so cool. Where the fuck is my phone? <laughs> Whatever. Um, we now know that the fireplace connects the two rooms, but how exactly is that significant? You aren't going to suddenly name the old lady as Damascus Killer now, are you? You know what? That actually sounds like a great fucking idea. Yes, I'm gonna do that. She couldn't move at all because of a stiff hit. Damn it. Missed, you missed the opportunity. That's what you, you missed the opportunity. She, she could not have been the one. Unfortunately, I believe that this fireplace has nothing whatsoever to do with Damask 2's murder. Okay. Uh, Fuck! It would appear oh. that the answer has made itself known. You're making quite a confident face there, Mr. Prosecutor. Bring it on, I'm ready to counter any argument you may have. Very well then, if you are prepared, I'll show you exactly where my deductions have led me. Go on, I'm going on you, Edgy! Shut up. My first attack will be to expose your lie for what it really is. My lie?! I know that there is still something you are keeping from the rest of us. You always fucking do this, Larry. What's wrong with you? Why is it you won't believe me no matter what I say, Edgy? Curse you. I should just hurry up and die already. That's how it's going to be. Yes. Yes. Go guys. yes. Kill yourself, die. Larry. Do us all a fucking favor. I want to go to bed. Honestly, Ren, if I'm being, if I'm, if I'm being real with you, you you can leave if you want. I don't think you have to voice any I more characters. I don't want to leave you alone, because then you're just gonna suffer by yourself. Believe me, it's fine. 
<laughs> it's fine. Really, you... no, really. No, I have an idea. Do you think I'm gonna have to voice act again anytime soon? Mm -mm. Okay, All I'm your characters leave. are currently out of the uh, current area. But I'm gonna leave and come back. I'm just gonna go switch over to my phone so I can just go lay in my room. <laughs> All and right. Not be in my basement. So I'll be back. I just I'm gonna leave you for a little bit. Okay, dokie. I just don't want to be in my basement anymore. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I want to lay down in my room. Okay, I'll be back. All right. I'll confess every murder in the whole world and, th and then kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I turned one into the mass confusion. <laughs> You made some wonderful friends as a child, I see. No. No, I haven't. Half of them have been beneficial to me. Dang. One of them is my husband, who I love very much. And the other is this prick. Believe me, if he were to kill himself right now, I would be a very happy man, Mr. Lang. I would be a very happy man. Larry, I only have one thing to say to you. You're gonna make that face at me, it's no use! A man who's ready to die is strong-willed, you know! Larry, it doesn't matter what sort of harebrained trouble you've caused. I only ask that you do not lie to me again. If you cause an innocent person to be judged unfairly because of some insipid lie, I will never forgive you! Uh, uh, edgy. Although allow me to say that I consider you to be among the innocent in this case. Unfortunately. And that I will draw the real killer out. You can trust me on this. Alright, I... I... This time... This time I'll tell you the whole truth, okay? What happened? What didn't happen? The works! Just what happened will do. Now then, who would please testify as what you did up, up in that roof tonight? Hold on real quick, I'm going to look at my phone because it's been a while since I have... Uh, I got like several notifications on it. Fucking know where the damn thing is. I'm gonna waddle around. Hold on, my phone just for just a sec, a second. I'm looking through all of my shit. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck it went off to, but I will find the truth. Oh yeah. I have no idea where it is. Well. Not never mind. Just want to fucking Twitter notifications. Never mind. I don't want to fucking talk to Twitter right now. Twitter may be depressed. Okay. Uh, moving on. Testimony time. With Larry Butts, my favorite Ace Attorney character ever. My favorite Ace Attorney character, Larry Butts. He's my favorite Ace Attorney character, guys. I love him so much. The fandom loves him, too. For what reason? I don't know. I don't know why they love him. I really don't. I really fucking don't. I can't even do it ironically, man. I genuinely don't understand. If there was an Ace Attorney fan watching this video, I need you to put in the comments, Why the fuck do you like Larry? Huh? Why? What is so appealing about him? He's a, he's the most annoying piece of shit in these games, man. I don't understand the appeal. I really don't. But if you want to try and change my mind, then by all f all means, give it your best shot, pal. Anyway, up on the rooftop. We got to finish this shit, bro. Let's do this. After the show, I left the punch push cart in the Rose Garden and came into the embassy. Then they took a picture of me shaking hands with the ambassador. After that, and until my next appearance, I had some free time, so I wandered around. That's when I spotted the chimney. A chimney like that is a rare thing, you know. So then I wanted to play Santa and decided to give it a try. Larry, I thought I just finished telling you not to lie anymore. Ah, uh, but it's kind of ultra embarrassing. Not exactly so ultra embarrassing that you can't tell me. Edgy man, I just said it was embarrassing, so of course I can just blurt it out. So you're just gonna have to reason it out of me! As your superior, I command you to hurry up and expose this man's lie! I've every intention to, for I'm not allowed to let us waste time on such a trifling matter. Alright, 
I'm just gonna take a I'm just gonna take a long fucking uh I'm gonna take a hail mary pass of a guess right here. You guys are gonna you guys are going to be mind blown on this shit. He was trying to talk to a woman, and that's why he wanted to go into the, the chimney. Watch this. Watch this shit. All right. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. HOLD IT! You suddenly wanted to play Santa. Oh, well, actually, I dressed up as Santa once before already. I was down at Gordon Lake. Uh, I appreciate if you wouldn't dredge up such unnecessary memories for me. The unnecessary feelings of, of, of the first game. No, thank you. Huh. Sounds like you guys share a lot of history. Perk to being childhood friends, huh? Besides, it's not a felony to dress up and play Santa, you know. Santa doesn't go around killing people after he comes down a family's chimney, after all. Well, I mean, not the typical Santas. You ever heard of the Krampus? He probably does that. Is it worth delving into whether or not playing Santa's a big deal? Yes. It's March. I, I, I sussed that shit out. Actually, I believe in the case of this man, playing Santa is actually quite a big deal. Are you saying that your buddy isn't exactly made of Santa quality stuff? Precisely. You with the nailed head again, Agent Lang. Hey, Angie, that's so. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, Angie, that's so incredibly mean! Tell me something, Larry. Did you know that Santa's job is to deliver presents to people all over the world? Is this seriously a contradiction? I thought it was something about women. Is this really the contradiction? Larry, did you know that Santa Claus delivers presents? You don't even have a beard, Larry. You're not Santa. You're not really Santa, Larry. This is the real contradiction. Of course I know that. I did graduate from junior high, you know. In that case, it's your turn to tell me something. I want you to tell me to whom you were delivering a present to. Ah, uh, I was, uh, delivering a present to a child not basking in the glow of love? Objection! Objection! That must be the most elegant description of you I've ever heard. But a lie is still a lie. Sure know how to kick a guy when he's down, you know that? In any case, the person you wish to deliver a present unto the most certainly was this. Take that. Huh. <laughs> Interesting taste you have there, Mr. Suspect. You're into, you're into grannies. <laughs> you're a granny fucker there, Larry. so much that I tried to go down a chimney! Ow! I advise you to stop right there and your bashing of a lady! I must admit that I myself hardly ever have the want to run into that lady. However, what if you are misinformed and under the wrong impression? Then what? Define wrong impression. I simply mean that the man before you thought to enter the old lady's room without knowing one very important fact. And that fact is the best summed up with this. Um. God, there's so much evidence already. This shit. Can you believe this is like the second letter Larry has made to stalk someone? Like, he did this shit with Iris in fucking Trials and Tribulations, and he's doing this again in another final case? This is gonna be fucking exhausting, man. Take that! Take that! Larry, I'd like for you to take a look at this piece of evidence. Nope! Okay, well, it's not that. Okay. Okay, I'm not reading this dialogue because it's not canon. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut your whore mouth. I'm... I'm a bitch. I'm a little baby bitch. I'm a little dumb baby bitch with my wah-wah pee-pee diaper, and I'm a... I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch! I'm a little baby bitch, Larry. I'm so fucking tired. I've been doing, I've been recording for three hours straight. And I'm not even done. God damn it, this case sucks. You really don't, Ace Attorney fans, you really don't understand how bad a case is until you've played it through yourself. You, I don't think people can understand the true exhaustion. It's the fucking standing request. Take that. 
Take that. I'm Hello? I'm back. Welcome back. This is something the old lady received from her employer for the night. The girl who normally plays the pink princess. Mindy, was it again? It seems this man is quite taken with that actress. Hold it! Let's our true Reggie! She's the one with the heart for me! I just know it! I can feel her sexy beam piercing my heart when she's watching me! Sexy beam! Oh, yeah. You filthy, despicable, inconsiderate, fickle, idiotic, cowardly apparition of a man! You haven't matured at all since we last met! Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. What? This guy. He's got bigger problems than just getting involved in murders, I take it. He's kind of a fucking creep, I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Yes, he is, Lang. And yet, for some reason, Ace Attorney fans love him. And I don't know why. I don't what understand. What the heck, man? I don't get you at all! Why do you guys all have to make me out to be some sort of bad guy? To return to the original topic, I propose that at least this much has been made clear. Without any knowledge that Miss Mindy had fallen ill, Larry tried to make his way into the Pink Princess's room. That much, that much we know for sure. Hold it! Hey, Edgy, looks like I got the hang of this court thing now. We're, we're not even in court, dude. Shut up! I see what's going on here. It looks like it was what you do in court. This old boy here still has something he'd like to say. Lang Z says, Until the root of the tongue dries, one never knows the whole truth. You shouldn't form conclusions until everything is out in the open, which is why I'll listen. Lang, why are you enabling him? Why are you enabling him, Lang? Alright! Think you're ready to listen to me defeat Edgy in a battle of wits! I can't believe this is happening to me too fucking- he, This is happening to me two games in a row, mind you. This is the second time I've had to deal with Larry's bullshit. The second time. I fucking hate you. I hate you, Larry. I hate you. I hate your assertion because you're an ass. You're an ass, Larry. That is the perfect description of you. See, that's all I wanted to do was go visit Mindy. Well, I dressed up as Santa and climbed up into the chimney but the smoke was really thick. It was a case of mistaken identity, and that mistake made me late for the speech. Then to top it all off, I became a suspect in a murder. That's what you really meant. But why would I ever put myself through so much humiliation on purpose? Hey, someone say something! Larry, are you seriously trying to submit this not as a confession, but his testimony. So what if I am? Is there something wrong with that? My claim is a claim claiming my claim. Do you have a problem with that? So it was you! You're my stalker! But I should warn you, doesn't matter what kind of flattery you throw at me. I'm the devoted type of woman who's wholly focused on one man, and one man only, and that's Lord as Eddie Pooh's alive. As luck his drop me on hate paper, and I cannot own the same thing that I wolf bed. It's lucky my dear Eddie Pooh's passing five cards down, and say, Crinny, total Eddie Pooh on eternity, I swear. Oh, I'm so inspired! <laughs> I'm fucking suffering. I'm fucking suffering. This is. This, this episode will be titled on YouTube's Trent Suffering 3 at World's End. That's the, that's the title. Sorry. You have nothing to apologize for, Ren. You did not put K or you did not put Larry and Wendy in this case. Capcom did. This is Capcom's fault, everybody. I want you to mail angry letters to Capcom quarters to blame them for wh what this game did to me. I want you to do it right now. And I won't know who the fuck I am, but I don't care. You're such an inconsiderate, cowardly, idiotic, and all around completely worthless man! I thought I heard something ominous just now, but perhaps it was just my imagination. I believe there's nothing further for me to prove at this point. What do you mean? Of course you still got something to prove! You still have to show us some proof that I was trying to meet up with Mindy! Why? Why? Remember, Reggie? Everything is evidence in court, right? You mean evidence is everything in court, Larry, but I understand your point. Yeah, see, I'm totally a pro at this now. Very well. If you wish Are to see the evidence. 
But let me show you the last piece of evidence you'll ever wish to see. And when I do, you're never going to bother me. Again. I don't want to speak to you again. I don't want to hear from you again. For the remainder of this franchise, I don't ever want to talk to you again. So you think that's all I wanted to do was go visit Mindy? Objection. Yes. Yes, I do. Larry, don't even think about denying that you have knowledge of this letter. <laughs> hey! Why are you showing that thing to me? Vendy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight, your loving knight. But isn't that just romantic? But you weren't able to descend on her from above, were you? Mr. Loving Knight. Objection. You can pretend to be ignorant all you'd like, but it's written right here. This letter proves that you were not out to meet the old lady, but rather that you were attempting to pay Miss Mindy a visit. The part of this letter shows that the person Larry intended to meet was Mindy. I mean, it looks like this, huh? As Mindy, but Wendy can be mistaken because it's, <laughs> it's literally it's because his handwriting is shit. That's the, that's, that's the contradiction. Take that. take that! Take that! Larry, I suggest you take up penmanship lessons. That is... If you never wish to experience this level of embarrassment... Ever again. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? What are you talking about? Speak English! You wrote Mindy. So sloppily that it became Wendy to the average eye. Hey, stop picking on me. I'm so embarrassing! There, there. Isn't that what childhood friends are for? They're the best, aren't they? I'm gonna fucking kill you, Lang. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna kill Larry. I'm gonna kill Wendy. I'm gonna kill Francisca. I'm taking Kay home. And I'm not, I'm not even gonna fucking bother with this case anymore. I'm just gonna give up. I'm just gonna fucking give up. I'm just gonna fucking watch fucking Netflix for the rest of the night. While eating Cheerios. For punching! Then I'll have to wait until we're off of this crime scene. Yeah, I was just saying, I fucking hate this guy too. Fuck him. Save from the scary man! No. Please. Slap him away. Punch him into oblivion. If you're willing to make amends, starting with your incredibly embarrassing mistake. That! That! That was me! No. Oh, more, more. It's a fake! Someone had to get me, so they made that fake letter! Set me up! Accept those repeat graciously. I'm so fucking done. I'm so fucking done here. I'm so fucking done. You guys have been so mean! Hold it! Penmanship analysis. What's that? No matter who, all people have certain unique features to their handwriting. Ergo, all we have to do is compare the handwriting in this letter to a sample of yours, and we'll know soon enough who it was that sent this letter. I... 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 I'll never write another thing in my life! Hold it. Hold it. Tisk, tisk, tisk. It's no use, Mr. Loving Knight, for you've already graciously provided me with a sample of your handwriting. The fucking autograph. Take that! Take that! This autograph and our mysterious letter, if we compare the handwriting, we'll know the answer to our question soon enough. <laughs> Confess now, Larry, to your miserable failure! I'm sorry! I, I, I did it! It was me causing trouble again! I admit it! Who hit the nail right on the head? Edgy! So he finally confesses. <laughs> I saw Spring Princess being carried around in a stretcher and got worried, alright? I wanted to go into Mindy's room, but the doctors wouldn't let me in! So what choice did I have? It was a chimney or bust, Edgy! Your mind jumped from the door to the chimney? What a criminally overactive imagination! Well, at least I was honest and wrote Mindy a letter and stuck it under the door! That way she wouldn't be so sharp when I came down to the chimney! Except for the fact that the letter was an utter failure at conveying said statement. I'm really, really sorry! Larry, you may be a shameful, good-for-nothing blight on the face of humanity. However, I always knew you weren't the killer. I told you to trust me, because at the very least I can attest that about you. 
Luigi! You're... Ah! We've lost a lot of valuable time because of you! No! Hit him more. Hit him more, Franny, please. Please. You know how much I fucking needed this. In any case, I believe we can say that we now know exactly what happened. Miss Laybot sought to climb down the chimney, not for access to the crime scene, but to enter the room of the other lady next door. Hold it! Great job, Mr. Prosecutor. Although I still find it a bit unbelievable that the two of you are friends. We're not friends. We're not friends. But the suspicion of that guy over there isn't completely resolved yet, so don't get any funny ideas about running off, okay? What? Edgy? What does the wolf bear mean when he says I'm not off the hook yet? He means the murder weapon. Larry, did you forget? There are two layers of suspicion hanging over your head. That's exactly what I mean. You can only rely on the words of the suspect after all. You may have figured out where he was and what he was doing all night. And the bloodstained samurai sword that was left at the crime scene. As long as there is no satisfactory explanation to that. This wolf will refuse to ease up on his bite! Eek! Edgy! That guy! He looks like he's seriously about to take a bite out of me! I'm well aware. And you should be as well, that this upcoming battle will be crucial. Thanks to the cooperation of our lovely Bumbler, I've been dealt a very nice hand and a sweet trump card. Looks like we're about to enter the final bout. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, let's see what you've got. I can easily point out the contradiction in the supposed murder weapon. But the real problem for me is figuring out what the real murder weapon is. This will be a high-stakes gamble. This is one game I can't afford to lose. Oh, this better be the fucking last one, I swear to god. Alright. Just fucking looking on mics. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, fu I'm fucking cheesing the rest of this shit. I'm so tired. It's fine, friend. I don't put it past you, man. Why, Larry? I was the one who found the body of the victim to mass too. Besides him was the samurai sword, glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. It was supposed to be in the steel samurai's dressing room, but I found it here instead. Plus, I found the murder weapon's owner, the suspect Larry Butts, in here too. Isn't it a bit far-fetched to accuse someone simply on the basis of ownership? But this owner wanted to sneak onto the crime scene. I think that's plenty to go on, don't you? HOLD IT! Hold it! If you're alluding to this reason for being by the chimney, you've already established that. Not so fast! Not so fast! Hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor. You two are longtime friends, right? Who say you didn't fabricate the evidence to give him an alibi? You're accusing me of fabricating evidence? You think I can believe anything you produce? Forging evidence is all you prosecutors do! This man has some serious issues with prosecutors. Come on, I can't think of something up as complicated as that, right, Edgy? Larry? Shut up. However, Agent Lang knows nothing about you. Or me, for that matter. This is hatred for my entire profession emanating from his entire being. Meaning that the only way I can prove Larry's innocence is to present irrefutable evidence. Great. Alright, step one. Statement two. Press. HOLD IT! Excuse me, but glittering red and offering up the scent of blood? Do I have to spell it out for you? I mean the sight and smell of blood, of course. And according to the test, the blood on the sword belongs to the victim. The sword was made to only be used on stage, so it's not sharp. But it is pretty weighty, certainly heavy enough to beat someone to death with. Which leads me to suspect that the victim was beaten to death with a sword. Beaten to death, huh? Last statement is too important to just let it slip by. And spear. Objection! Objection! No. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. It's what? What? No. But it. But that is no. It's the spear. No. No, it's the it's the sp What? What? Oh my fucking god! I'm fucking I'm I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm fucking done I'm fucking done I'm fucking done I'm not fucking done I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done God nope no 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 no
It said the fucking sword. It said the sword. What the fuck, Strategy Wiki? You lied to me! Oh, okay, no, they just didn't scroll onto the fucking message. That's the problem. God damn it, fucking Ace Attorney. Objection! Objection! Oh! Bomb comma finger. Do you know what this is, Agent Lane? Heh, <laughs> it's a long spear, right? We used to use those a lot in my country a long time ago. Piercing, mowing people down. Spears are the weapon of heroes throughout history. It's the next most effective weapon after the whip. I think the whip is in a slightly different category. So what's your point? You're gonna tell me that the spear is the real weapon? No. I simply want you to take a look at this section here. The way it's bent. Precisely. Apparently a certain troublemaker hit it against a wall in this embassy earlier. And as you can clearly see, the insides of the Steel Samurai's weapons are hollow. In other words, the replicas that aren't strong enough to deliver a damaging blow. Let alone the multiple strikes necessary to bludgeon someone to death. And yet, there's not even a death or a dent in the samurai sword. How do you explain that? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Sword and the spear are made of the same stuff, so they bend easily. Where's they make them out of better stuff? Because the spear got bent. I was able to do my special early summer rain jambu! I got such a miracle from the director of the play for not doing it in the show. Steel Samurai's special move was changed by because of him. God damn it, Larry. Ouch! That's more than enough of your viny whimpering. Now, back on topic of the spear. Yes, let's return to the real topic of discussion. This is where the real gamble begins. I don't have a real strategy per se, so all I can do for now is that the chips fall where they may. Using guesswork and taking risks in places of real logic is hardly the Von Karma way. It's neither smart nor very clever. Miss Von Karma, as you know, unlike your father, I am not a genius prosecutor. Plus, I doubt his record of a 40-year win streak will ever be broken. Well, he had that one little boo-boo with my father, but we don't talk about that. But perhaps it is for the best if it remains unbroken. For no one should have conceived of the notion to convict all defendants in the first place. Objection! Objection! What a foolishly foolish statement from a foolishly foolish fool who hates the news. It's the job of a prosecutor to make sure that all defendants are found guilty in court. There's nothing more important in this world than a perfect victory. Have you learned fucking nothing from Justice for All? Hold it! God damn it! That may be your opinion, however, I don't believe this all we are. Why are we arguing about this? As a prosecutor, what I pursue is not the perfect victory, but the perfect truth. And if that means that the bridge I must cross will crumble beneath my feet, and let it crumble as I walk on towards the truth. Not so fast! Not so fast! You're good at keeping me entertained, Mr. Prosecutor. But you know, humans are delicate creatures. The slightest bump and we expire. I'd like you to consider, if you will, the possibility that the sword was used in such a way that the attack killed the mask too, without bending it. So, what do you think of my hypothetical scenario? I think you know what to do here, right? And what you need? Of course. What is evidence that even Agent Lang can refute? This is it. So, I'm bring this to a close. Please, bring this to a fucking close. Please. It's possible to use the samurai sword to kill someone. And under these circumstances, it's the only logical conclusion. We search the embassy, top to bottom, but the victim's only blood, or the victim's blood is only on that weapon. Is it only natural that suspicion would fall into the owner of said weapon? How long do you intend to cling onto that preposterous theory? As long as I want, because I examine every corner within the walls of this embassy. There's no stone we've left unturned. We have managed to come up with only one logical conclusion. That the only place inside this embassy with the victim's blood on it is this sword. Hold it. Hold it! You left no stone unturned. Is that a fact? Not so fast! fast! If you've got something to say, then say it in the only way I respect, Mr. Prosecutor. Yes, of course. In that case, allow me to make it all crystal clear for you. Okay. We've got only a few, la few, few more things to do. One, two, 
three. Press. HOLD IT! The only place where you could find blood was on the samurai sword. That's right, even with Luminol. Which means that there are no other possibilities outside of what I've already outlined. Do you have a problem with Agent Ling's assertion that the samurai sword is the weapon? Yes. If you believe that there is no other door possibility left to open, then allow me to force one open for you. Not so fast! Not so fast! Huh. How do you plan to do that? By showing you what may possibly be the real murder weapon. Not so fast! Not so fast. Ha! <laughs> the real murder weapon? I hate to repeat myself, but my men have already searched every last inch of this embassy. And they've concluded that nothing else could have been used as the weapon. Knowing these facts, do you still want to press forward with your little hypothesis? Of course. Because it's not possible if your men inspected everything in the investigation. Not so fast! Not so fast. What are you talking about? I don't appreciate mind games, I don't appreciate it when people like you slander my men! Hold it! I'm not slandering them, I assure you. I'm merely pointing out that their investigative dragnet has a few holes in it. Namely, that there is something your men couldn't even lay a finger on. And that item is the real murder weapon. Ah, alright then, I'll play along for now. This real murder weapon that killed the mask too. What exactly is it? The real murder weapon, which not a single person has yet to touch, is... This. Take that! Fucker. Oh my god. It said the statue! It said the statue right there! Oh my god. I am fucking done. I'm so fucking done. I'm so fucking done. I'm so fucking done. Yeah, uh huh. All the playtime. All the playtime. Because I'm a stupid little doggy bitch. I'm a stupid little doggy bitch that fucking howls at the moon. Oh no, I'm sorry. I had to I had to present the other statue. My bad. My bad. It's not like they look exactly the fucking same. Take that. Take that. The National Treasure of Alabast. Hold it. You mean the Prime Duck statue? Yes, and as you know, only the ambassador and his secretariat may touch it. Which I believe means that neither you nor your men were able to examine it, correct? Not so fast! Not so fast. <laughs> you know very well if we did that, there'd be an international incident between the Kingdom of Alabast and the Republic of Babel. Two countries' precarious relationship teeters in the balance over a stupid fight related to a sovereignty statue. But I'll be damned if I let something go unexamined. Hold it! Hold it! Agent Lang, if you take a look at this. The direction the statue facing just before and after the crime are different. And there is only one conclusion I can draw from that. Go look for Ambassador Alba and get him to give us the okay to examine the statue. Shifu, if you listen to this infidel's words, he's most definitely trying to trick you. Shifu, please, let's be rational about this. Ugh. Lang Z says... Just fucking go already, man! <laughs> yes, sir! Shifu. Yeah? I'm really sorry, sir, but I was unable to convince the ambassador. I was able to take British members to examine the Primaduck statue. Huh. I see. Wait! But then, the investigation is still at a standstill! I just lang, I will go and speak with the ambassador personally! Save your breath. You may act all weird or weak and frail, but that old man's one tough cookie. But I guess you gotta be tough when you're representing a whole country, you know? Agent Lang. What do you want? Let's just hurry up and examine the statue already. What? But Shifu! Well causing international incident! Quiet! I'll take the fall if I have to later! Hold it! Agent Lang, the hypothesis is mine, so if someone is to take responsibility, let it be me. Responsibility? If you want to talk in such heavy terms, maybe I should let you. It'd be a real problem for my men if something were to happen to me. Alright then, let's talk more investigating! If we want to know the truth, we can't stop here. Action must be taken. Agent Lang, I'd like to run a luminol, a luminol chemiluminescence test on the statue. A luminol test. Uh, good thinking. 
statue is the murder weapon, and some of the victim's blood should be on it. Okay, let's get the forensics team in here! Heh, <laughs> looks like you hit the jackpot, Mr. Prosecutor. Guess this means that this is the real weapon that killed the mask, too. Indeed! I wouldn't celebrate it yet if I were you. Doesn't let your friend off the hook. Doesn't prove that he didn't kill the mask, too, so the charge remains. We are hardly done examining the statue agent thing. Knowing that it is the real weapon, I believe further examination is required. Ha! Think so? Okay, then knock yourself out. <laughs> what do we have here? Sturdy smudge. It looks like a handprint. <laughs> What's the defendant a bit of evidence like do you doing under here? Looks like we got its fingerprints to analyze. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, these prints belong to Larry. It looks like it's too late for me to do anything about that now. Hey, friends, guy, I want re results in this fingerprints or uh, these fingerprints ASAP. You hear me? Hey, Ling, I have the analysis results, sir. Good. And, sir, about the prints we lifted from the bottom of the statue. Well, um, you know the victim of the murder in the Bob Lee's embassy? Prince belong to him, Mr. Manny Cochin, sir! But, 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 but that's... What's going on around here? No, it, that's impossible! Each Prime Duck statue can only be handled by someone of that country. By the very fact that Mr. Cochin's fingerprints are on this one, leads me to only one conclusion. This statue... Is actually Bobble's Primaduck statue! Impossible! It can't be! Ah. -ah! Larry never once set foot on Bobble's soil, so he was free to go. However, this new piece of information only served to confuse us even further. The ringleader of a smuggling operation was killed with an Alabastian knife in Babel. And Damask II was killed on Alabastian soil with Bobble's national treasure. And the mystery of the great thief Yatagarasu, who's visited both countries. The pieces were there, but I had yet to see the big picture they were to form.